shot a television show um, called The Deck Doctor. It aired nationally on DIY Network. Uh, we didn't get a series, unfortunately, but um, it, was, it was a lot of work and we learned a lot. And, um, and that's, on, that's on my YouTube page. If you guys want to watch it, it's pretty good, I it's think. It's, it's entertaining. You see it? Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, so, um, but that was, who? Galvin, what do you think of that? That was rough. It was something. Yeah, it, was it sure was a thing. It sure was a thing. <laughs> that happened to I think, us. You know, uh, any other questions? Let me say one thing about Jason. And we've had some, some other celebrity uh, uh, associates. I, I Going back, because I've been with this company really longer than anybody except the guy that owns it. This guy right here still builds decks. That was the difference. Jason said he's 50 years old. He's been doing this a long time, but he's still out there putting in screws, building decks. And I think that's what separates him from all, from, from, from and all this HGTV stuff. They're all celebrities. This guy's still a worker. Yeah, that was a little bit too. Yeah, I think so. You can't take it out of somebody when, when, when they're into it that much. I just have too much passion for my craft. There's too much, there's too many more things I need to create to keep you guys inspired. You know, I want you guys to follow along and like ask questions. Anytime, man, it, it doesn't matter. I will try to answer every single one. If I don't, ask again, because maybe I missed the first one, I'll hit you back on the second. Jason will give you a signature for not $10, <laughs> but five. <laughs> not even, I won't sign anything, man. I'm not worthy. I'm equal, I'm equal yeah, to you guys. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I know where you're coming from and I thank you very much, Jim. That's really, oh, that's really so awesome much. to say. How would you judge it? Worthy of being entered in the deck competition. Um, I, mean, I don't know. I, you know, I wonder. I have some I want to enter. I think. I think that if you okay. Thank you. You just remind me. Um, having the right photographs to enter with the, the entry is so important. I hired a guy to come in and shoot both those decks that took first place. And if I wouldn't have had him, I don't think I would have placed. Or maybe I would have placed, but I don't know if I would have got first place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so that's good. And then verbiage is always important. Being able to, to describe it, I don't, there, I think they had a verb limit or, or, or a number of words or something, but you're able to definitely complete. And then I think descriptive, like letting the judges know what they wouldn't know normally. Like we had you know, this many hours of bending or we created this girder that you can't see, or whatever it is that's really cool about this project that you're really proud of, and having some pride in what you do. Um, I think the thing you, you got, the thing you guys are building now, um, reminds me a lot of myself and how I do reverse curves, and and you're blending a reverse curve with a with <coughs> an exterior curve. Oh, that's all you for sure. And well, okay, great. Yeah, I mean, that's I'm doing the same thing right now. That's so. where it came from. Well, well, I love it. You know, so if I inspire you to build like that, then I'm so humble because imagery is the best form of flattery. But then you're also owning it on your own term because you guys are doing different things that maybe I wouldn't have done that way or maybe you're owning it. Whatever. The slower way. And it's all a learning process, man. But it's, it's, it's really, um, you know, with the whole social media thing, it's like we can kind of stay connected where normally I wouldn't know any of you mm -hmm. at all, ever. And I would never be in Spokane, Washington. You know, but because of this whole uh, dynamic, it's putting us all in this like bubble, you know? And uh, I hope it never bursts because I just, I, I really dig it, you know? And, and I really appreciate every one of you for coming out here today and listening to what we had to say. I hope you guys learned something. I hope it was entertaining. I know it's getting late and I probably shut my mouth now, but um, you know, thanks for all the extra information. I learned something today. I learned a few things and that's awesome when, when we can all come together and uh, be a part of something that's bigger than ourselves. So. You've, got all one, you've got one thing in common, you're all deck builders. Yeah. And you're not just a celebrity, you can become a celebrity, but you're a deck builder. You're a deck builder. So, um, is there any other questions? Where'd you find Andy? Andy, um, actually, okay, so. Um, <laughs> Me. Do, who knows Jim Miller? I know Jim. Okay, so, um, Calvin went to work for Jim for a while. And Jim Miller is the owner of Screw Products in Gig Harbor, Washington. I live 15 minutes from Gig Harbor. I've known Jim, oh man, for 15, 20 years. And um, he's always been a great guy. 
and uh, I've used a lot of his products, and I still do. Um, and we're, I wouldn't say, you know, friends, friends usually go like out and do stuff together, <coughs> baseball, whatever. We would, we would occasionally share meals. So I consider Jim a friend. And Calvin ended up applying out there, was working for Jim for a while, and um, that's Calvin got to know Andy. And Andy was kind of working his way up, and Calvin's like, Dad, if this guy ever quits this job, you gotta hire him, man. He's just amazing, you know? I was like, all right, well, I'll go talk to him. Like, so I got to know Andy through Screw Products. So I was Will calling a lot of product. It was really convenient, because like, hey, Calvin, can you bring home these five buckets of fasteners that I need? You know, and I would just, because I was always somewhere else, so he's bringing all these screws home. Finally met Andy, just got to know him, um, but he seemed really happy with Jim, and I was really happy for him and all that. And then, and then one day he called me, and I was like, what's the matter, dude? You don't sound too good. He said, yeah, well, you know, I don't work at Screw Products anymore. And, kind of looking for work and so I was like let's go have dinner and we sat down and kind of um, worked out a deal and, and now he's working for us and, and I'm really had, happy to have him he's been a blessing yeah it's it's it's, it's one of those you know everybody keeps telling me it's hard um, to find oh, this I fell into this guy this guy fell into my lap you know I was like bull crap <laughs> but Andy kind of fell into my lap you know and, and I'm looking I, I want to find a guy that can I don't necessarily say replace me but I would like to maybe work four hours a day or five hours a day on site. And then if I need to bounce, um, I can go, I can show up an hour late and I can leave two hours early. It's kind of my goal right now, um, which is not, it's not obtainable in my opinion at this minute, but yeah, I would, you know, but I need somebody um, like Jason was to you or, or something like that, you know, where I can get a guy um, that, that really knows structure, that understands structure, man. Like it takes a minute to figure out you know, learning spans and what will work and what won't and why and how and all that. And I don't have the answer. You know, so, some companies are building, you know, larger crews. I haven't figured out how to do that. I respect you for that because it's something that I'm just, blows me away. I don't, I, I don't know, you know. Um, I think that I have a little bit of OCD. And because I have OCD, I have a really hard time letting go of anything. A little bit? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and so that's going to be a problem for me until I can just say, forget it, just walk off, um, and not care about the end result as much. But when you're when you're creating what I'm creating, there's no guy that replaces me because I'm the guy, right? I'm the guy making this up, and I'm, sometimes I am making it up. I'm making it up in my head. They, where's the plan? Oh, we don't. I don't have a plan. It's, I got this, you know. Um, and so they're kind of waiting on my commands. Like sometimes that's how we work is, okay, what's the next step boss? And they, just, and they just walk up to me and go, okay, now you're gonna do this. And I'm five steps ahead of you, but I'm also thinking about this, this, and that. And then, how, and then I'm thinking, how in the hell am I gonna do this? I, I do that every week. How in the hell? Ask my son. He's like sitting there filming me. <coughs> and he goes, dad, you say that a lot. I'm like, really? He goes, yeah, you say this a lot. And then every time you figure something out, like, well, that's what our, our job is problem solving sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like, how in the heck? But you gotta do it with structure. You gotta make sure it's not gonna fail. You know? And then you gotta do it to the best of your ability. And the problem is I have a lot of ability, so trying to always do it to the best of your ability can become a curse. You get that? I, uh, <coughs> you dig, man? <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, anything else? You guys get antsy? Huh? Uh, how many? Um, three of us. Well, Calvin's filming. I uh, have Andy and Phil and me. So a three-man crew. How long have you built? 11 years. Really? Yeah, 11 and a half years. So we also, we also uh, own telescopes. This is the 16-foot uh, uh, contractor grade telescope ladder. So we'll do a draw for that. And uh, as you do the <coughs> couple. Oh, like I did. Draw. Yeah. Like the draw is? Is uh, integrity decks. Congratulations. Are you social screws? All right. It's up for grabs. Uh, it's a three pack of Urban Rail Spiritual yeah. Leg Screws. Oh, yeah. George? Martin? Oh, All right, here you go. Congratulations. Just what I've always wanted. You're a wiener. <laughs> <laughs>